How often do couples in 50s have sex? How much sex do you think older couples have? The fact that married couples experience a decline in sexual activity over time is not a mere myth. For some, the allure of excitement in the bedroom diminishes, replaced by a desire for rest. Between demanding work commitments and the responsibilities of managing a household and caring for children, couples find scant moments for themselves, let alone for intimacy. Consequently, by the age of 50, many couples see a significant decrease, almost having, in their sexual frequency. It's worth exploring the desires of older couples regarding intimacy and their actual frequency of sexual activity. What does researchers say? Studies indicate that married couples in their late 40s or early 50s typically engage in sexual activity approximately once every 10 days. Nevertheless, this frequency varies among couples, with a minority reporting an enhanced sexual experience as they approach the age of 50. Do older couples prefer intimacy in the bedroom? Numerous couples have expressed that as they age, the urge for sexual activity diminishes. For them, prioritizing the quality of their relationship takes precedence over physical intimacy. Conversely, some couples find increased enjoyment in sexual encounters as the concerns regarding pregnancy fade away after menopause. Additionally, time constraints emerge as a significant factor determining whether older couples can engage in sexual activity or not. Some couples enjoy it. Certain couples find a newfound enjoyment in sexual intimacy as they age, relieved of the pressure to maintain a certain physical appearance or deliver exceptional performances in bed. As mobility naturally declines with age, it becomes understandable if one's sexual prowess diminishes. Moreover, as couples enter older stages of life and their children become more independent, they often find themselves liberated from the stress of parenting, leading to more frequent sexual encounters. This contrasts with the common trend of sexual decline observed in mid-30s due to parental responsibilities. However, it's worth noting that only a small percentage of older couples experience this heightened enjoyment of sex. Conversely, some older couples may find themselves unable to engage in sexual activity due to differences in desire between partners or performance-related issues. Why do older couples slowly lose their sexual desire? As individuals age, a significant portion find their sexual desire waning due to factors such as fatigue, stress, and unresolved conflicts. Women, in particular, often experience a decline in interest in sex, especially during menopause, which signifies the cessation of the menstrual cycle. Additionally, many women encounter vaginal dryness as they age, which further contributes to a decrease in sexual excitement. The Secrets of Sex Over 40, 8 Questions Answered New survey reveals how often older adults have sex, and lots more. 1. How often do people in middle age and older have sex? Elderly individuals remain actively engaged in sexual activity, with findings indicating various frequencies, 30% report engaging in sex on a weekly basis, 27% monthly or less, and 40% abstaining from sex in the last 6 months. Notably, 1 in 6 adults aged over 70 still engage in weekly sexual activity. Regarding oral sex, the frequency tends to be slightly lower, 18% report engaging in oral sex weekly, 25% monthly, and 54% abstain from oral sex in the past 6 months. However, perceptions about the adequacy of sexual activity vary, 46% feel satisfied with the amount of sex they are having, while 45% express dissatisfaction. Men are more inclined to report insufficient sexual activity, whereas women are more likely to feel they have the right amount. 2. Do men and women differ in their levels of sexual desire? In general, 55% of respondents indicated that they perceive their sexual desire to be average, while 15% stated it was higher than average, and 29% believed it to be lower than average. However, men were more inclined than women to assess their sexual desire as higher than average, whereas women were more prone to consider theirs as lower than average. 3. How frequently do older adults masturbate? The survey revealed that 55% of individuals disclosed engaging in self-pleasure within the past six months. Among those who masturbated, 61% did so within the previous week. Approximately one in four individuals engage in self-pleasure on a weekly basis, although this percentage decreases with age, only 11% of those aged 70 and older reported masturbating in the past week, in contrast to 40% of individuals aged 40 to 49. One-third of respondents admitted to using a vibrator for personal enjoyment, with women more likely than men to report its usage, at 42% compared to 18%, respectively. 
Additionally, individuals identifying as non-heterosexual were more inclined to report vibrator usage for self-stimulation, with 66% doing so compared to 28% of those identifying as heterosexual. 4. How common is infidelity after midlife? According to the survey, 14% of respondents admitted to being unfaithful. 17% of men acknowledged engaging in sexual relationships with someone other than their partner, in comparison to 11% of women. The primary reasons cited for infidelity were consistent across genders, the allure of novelty in sexual encounters outside the primary relationship. Men were more inclined than women to express interest in sexual activities their partner wasn't interested in. Conversely, women tended to cite feeling unappreciated by their partner and having a higher libido as contributing factors. Additionally, a quarter of participants mentioned consensual monogamy or polyamory as reasons for engaging in sexual activities outside their primary relationship. Despite the negative impact of infidelity on relationships reported by many respondents, only a small minority chose to terminate their relationships because of it, a mere 4%. 5. Is erectile dysfunction increasing? The prevalence of sexual function difficulties among men is on the rise. Research indicates that only 4 in 10 men consistently experience erections sufficient for intercourse, a decline from half of men in 2009. Moreover, 28% of surveyed men disclosed being diagnosed with erectile dysfunction or impotence, notable increase from 23% in 2009 and 17% in 2004. However, a significant portion of these men are actively seeking assistance, with 6 out of 10 reporting efforts to address their sexual function issues. In contrast, sexual function issues were less commonly reported among women, with only 12% indicating such problems. However, over half of these women cited discomfort discussing the matter as the reason for not seeking treatment. Various health concerns, including diabetes, stress, and hypertension, can significantly impact sexual function, with 79% of respondents reporting a diagnosis of at least one medical condition. 6. Do older adults typically have a regular sex partner? According to the survey findings, approximately two-thirds of respondents reported having a consistent sexual partner. Among younger participants, there was a higher probability of having a regular sexual partner. However, even among individuals over the age of 70, slightly more than half indicated having someone with whom they regularly engaged in sexual activity. 7. Are sexual fantasies among older adults common? The response is unequivocal, 83% of respondents acknowledged having sexual thoughts, fantasies, or erotic dreams. Although engaging in sex with a stranger emerged as the most prevalent fantasy for both genders, men tended to fantasize about having sex with multiple partners simultaneously, whereas women were more inclined to fantasize about same-sex encounters or engaging in sex in various locations. Despite the prevalence of these fantasies, a significant majority indicated that they had not shared them with others, with roughly two-thirds keeping their fantasies private. 8. What are the best ways to keep romance alive? The pandemic has influenced individuals' perceptions of their relationships. According to the survey, 41% of older adults expressed a desire for greater connection with their significant other. Additionally, 70% indicated that they now consider quality time and strong connections to be of greater importance. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.